Well, today I want to talk about uh, electromagnets. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos, you know, using microwave oven transformers where they make electromagnets out of them. And uh, a lot's not explained about exactly how it is that they, they can be so strong. Uh, for one, you don't want to use AC power. You want to use DC. Uh, you can use like a, like right here, I got a, this is a bridged rectifier. Uh, it works really well. Uh, and as far as the uh, actual coils from the electromagnet go, okay, here's your basic microwave oven transformer right here. Here's the primary winding, the secondary winding. Now, most of the time they say to, to discard the secondary and uh, reinstall the primary, and then there you go. Now, that's all well and good if you're going to use 12 volts DC. Uh, however, if you were to try and put, you can put 120 volts to this coil here, this primary winding, AC and it'll be fine, but if you're going to use DC, 12 volts is about as much as you can go and it's still going to get a little warm because you have to remember that DC only recognizes wire resistance. There's no reactants with DC, whereas with AC, uh, you have reactants that has to be considered. So what I've actually done with this one right here, this is one I made years ago. This is a microwave oven transformer. Uh, Right here on the side, you see that little heat sink that I got mounted to it? Well, that's one of these. That, that's a, a rectifier. Uh, this one's a little different. I didn't just reinstall the secondary. It has two secondaries in it. And the reason I did this uh, is so that way it can run all day long and not get hot. If you can do just one coil, one of the high voltage windings, and it'll work, but you have to duty cycle it. Uh, but yeah, it, it works. If you use AC, it's going to hum and it's not going to be nearly as strong because you got to think that, that, that it's, uh, you know, 60 cycles a second. That means that it's turning on and off 60 times a second. So not only do you get a mean buzz, it's also not as strong. Yeah, this one right here, I've lifted almost 500 pounds with it and it had no problem with it. And that's two coils. If you did one coil, it would lift more, but you got to duty cycle it. Yeah, that's a strong son of a bitch. Now, if you try to put 120 volts DC to this coil here, that's 120 volt AC coil, it'll act like a short circuit because uh, there's not enough resistance in this wire to, to handle 120 volts DC. Uh, but yeah, I like making them out of these high voltage windings because these high voltage windings, 2400 volts AC is what they are, uh, and they're perfect for 120 volts DC. If you turn it to DC, you make a DC electromagnet. Uh, but anyways, that's all I got for you. Thank you.